All right, guys, it is New Year's Eve and it is a Sunday, so I could not help making a top 10 video. I wanna talk about my top 10 finds from this year, and this was a really hard list to make because we had such an awesome year. We took a lot of big trips, we went a lot of cool places, and some of the snakes we saw were fantastic. And I wanna specify before I dive in, that by finds, I really mean moments. What factors into a snake or anything on this list, making the list, is like 50% what it is and 50% the context of the situation, the people I was with, and most of all, it's just how excited I was about the find at that time. So without further ado, we're gonna dive right in. For number 10, we're gonna go back to the Florida Everglades. We were just there recently, and I saw a lot of diamondbacks on that trip. I'm really torn between the moment of finding that really, really pretty diamondback, probably the best looking one I've ever seen, and then turning, because I heard a rattle, and it turns out I'm looking at two diamondbacks at the same time. Uh, but I'm torn between that moment and the moment that I think ultimately is gonna take number 10 on the list, which is finding the diamondback swimming through the water. There I am walking like a mile out into the Everglades on a flooded trail. I'm thinking there's no chance I see a snake. I'm walking back to the car, it's evening time. I start filming this bird. I'm just trying to get B-roll, just trying to get a cool shot. and. I'm not looking up, I'm looking at the camera screen, and I see... Yo. Oh my god. I swear to god this is a coincidence. I just started filming that bird, and there's a huge snake crossing up there. Oh my god, it's a diamondback. Dude. Yeah, that was just a ridiculous sighting. Number 10 on the list. Let's go to number 9. If you guys know me, milk snakes, particularly Coastal Plains milk snakes, are some of my favorite snakes to look for. So I really tried to limit the amount that I put on this list. And I think I narrowed it down to two. So number 9 on the list is a snake that I found after a whole day sifting through garbage out in a pretty awful place. There's nothing to me <laughs> redeeming about this spot other than the fact that these really cool snakes live there. Oftentimes you go to these cool locations and if you don't find the snake, it's like, oh, the scenery was nice or whatever. Not this place. This place sucks. The ticks are awful. It, it's probably one of the most unenjoyable places to herp. But we found this one junk site after being out all day long. we have never been there before and we start going through all this crazy garbage and we come across this rolled up black mat. And there's, there were two of them. I rolled one and of course there was nothing in mine, but when Dave unrolls his... Milk? No way, no way. I got it on camera, I got it on camera. Beautiful milk snake, probably one of the best looking milk snakes I've ever seen. Really looked almost like a Scarlet King snake, which they tend to in that area where they're really, really hard to come across. So it took me a long time to get one in that locale. So that's why it makes this list other than it just being really pretty. Number eight is again, a milk snake, but I promise, I don't think there's any other milk snakes on the list. I'm trying to look here. Yes, it's another milk snake. I think it was my first coastal of the year. This has to make the list, not only because it was a beautiful snake, but it's really because of the circumstance in which I found it. We were going through this junk site where we found milk snakes before, we we're really excited, and we went through all the good cover, tin stacks, things like that, nothing. Uh, we were actually talking to one of the property owners, and I lift up this tire, and when I lift it up, the rubber detaches from the metal rim, and there in the metal rim, coiled, is this beautiful milk snake. And it was our first of the year in a pretty unexpected place, yet at the same time, those snakes love getting up in tight spaces, so it was just kind of a cool moment, and that's why, to me, that's gonna be number eight on the list. So back over the summer, I was in Arizona with Burke from the YouTube channel Catch It, and we just saw lots and lots of cool snakes that trip. Lots of them could have potentially made this list. And on our last night there, we went out into the desert. It was super, super hot. We're climbing up rocks, we're going through caves, we're walking washes, and we saw tons of snakes that night. It was probably the most snakes that we saw all trip. Pink speckled rattlesnakes, all sorts of good stuff. But in the middle of the night, and we stayed up all night for the record, and then drove to the airport, but that's a different story. In the middle of the night, we come across a snake that we did not know what it was. What is that thing? I don't know. Dude! Burke spotted it. I will admit that I was fully just like KO'd. I was exhausted. Pretty much, I was literally sitting and 
laying on the ground. Okay, I was laying on the ground while Burke was walking around shining and I was just kind of done. But Burke spots this thing that is just absolutely bizarre. And this snake is kind of further back on the top 10 list just because what I memory-wise associate with that moment was just being totally exhausted. But it is such a rare and ridiculous find that it needs to make the list. And that is this bizarre hybrid tiger diamondback rattlesnake. It was a perfect mixture of the two and we were pretty thrilled about it. It's a hybrid. It's 100% a hybrid. Oh. It's a hybrid. <laughs> Just a bizarre snake, super weird circumstances. I don't know if it has actually ever been documented before. So yeah, that was a crazy cool find and definitely earns its spot on the list. All right, so number six takes us not too far from home in the Appalachian Mountains. I went deep, deep down a mountain ridge line and I was hiking Talus looking for rattlesnakes at the time of year that I knew timber rattlesnakes would be giving birth. I actually intended on spending the night out there to see if I could increase my odds of witnessing what I ultimately saw, which was a timber rattlesnake giving birth. I mean, just look at this footage. This is probably some of the coolest footage I've ever captured and I was beyond stoked. It was just the coolest thing getting to see this rattlesnake come out of its embryo and just open its mouth, stretch its fangs. I actually watched it do that multiple times and it was really difficult to film in the crack. The mother was super defensive, like it kept coming out and sticking its face up towards me. We also saw tons and tons of other rattlesnakes while we were out there. So overall, it was just a really cool moment. I really enjoyed that one. It just had to find a spot on the list. All right, so number five is gonna come from our Louisiana trip in the spring with Tommy and Alex. That trip was Holy absolutely cow. ridiculous. We that. just found snake after snake. And honestly, there are probably many snakes on that trip that could be on this list that aren't. I tried to just pick one moment from that trip that was really special, and I think it would have to go to a night that we actually spent road cruising. It was a little bit prefrontal, it was gonna be warmer than most other nights, and I was like, man, if there were ever a night that we could cruise a mud snake on this trip, this is gonna be it. So we get to the road just on time, and on our first pass, we watch a probably three and a half to four foot big western mud snake get hit by the car in front of us. The car had just passed us and we watched this thing just get smoked straight down the middle. And you know, it's a weird feeling because we're excited to see our lifer western mud snake, but obviously incredibly sad that this thing got hit by the car that had drove around us. Luckily, we did get our redemption. We were making a pass and I glanced out the window and it just happened to see something dark right on the edge of the grass by the shoulder. We drove past it and it was one of those things that nine times out of 10 when you pass, it's not actually a snake, but I decided to turn around, pulled us right up to it and uh, we freaked out. It was another mud snake. This one perfectly healthy, obviously not hit by a car. And for a little bit, we had two live, beautiful Western mud snakes, but one did unfortunately pass away, which kind of put a slight damper on the moment, but we were still very excited to see our lifers and it definitely earns a spot on the list. So number four on the list is also from our Arizona trip and it's probably the first big target of the trip that we were able to knock off. Burke had just picked my brother Teddy and I up from the airport. We were just getting to know him and he took us hours and hours out into the desert. It was like 100 degrees, beautiful scenery, but middle of nowhere took us forever to get out there. And on the way in, we actually ended up cruising two Sidewinders at the same time, but that wasn't the target of the night. We had to go further out into this remote wash where we spent the night hiking. And a couple hours later, as we're looking for a snake that looks exactly like the granite that is everywhere, I spotted one. It's just coiled. Oh my God. Oh my God. I was looking at it and I said, Hold on. It was just as stunning as I would have imagined. And while that snake isn't particularly rare at that location or anything like that, they're just absolutely jaw dropping. It's a snake that I wanted to see since I was a little kid reading field guides and they live up to their reputation. They're just absolutely gorgeous and it's definitely one of my favorite finds of the year. All right guys, we're getting down there. These last couple finds on the list are pretty special. Number three comes from way back early in the year with Noah. We were having an awesome weekend doing some tin flipping where we found a bunch of gray rat snakes. Of course, this diamondback. Oh, diamondback. No, oh, dude. 
but there was one snake I really wanted to find that trip. We decided to go out the next day and it was an absolute torrential downpour. That made the roads into this thick, soupy clay. So we were worried that we were gonna slide off the roads. We thought the whole day could be a wash because relative to the previous days, it was considerably cooler. We were hoping snakes would still be undercover, but it was early in the year, so we didn't know. About halfway through the day, we find this huge tin stack and we're going through it, and this was at the bottom. Oh my God! And yeah, that was an absolutely gigantic king snake. It's not the snake that makes number three on the list, but it was super cool, and it did happen the same day as what I'm really talking about here, which is this snake. Whoa! Oh, it's beautiful! So I had been talking all weekend about the snake that I really wanted to see, which was a beautiful canebrake rattlesnake. In the southeastern United States, in some regions, canebrakes can be this beautiful pink and blue coloration with the orange stripe and an orange head. In person, they're just glowing and they have all these different layers of color. This one was phenomenal, even on camera, but it's just one of those snakes. You just can't get the color to come out on camera. So just take my word for it. It absolutely blew me away. And it's just like the most picturesque canebrake I could have asked for. A snake that I really have always wanted to see. They're definitely some of my favorite snakes in the United States. They're just phenomenal. All right, guys, number two on the list takes us to Northeastern North Carolina, where there is one snake that had escaped me for years until this spring. So I was on a trip with Dave and Kevin actually ended up joining us for a day where we did some tin flipping. We found some racers and things like that. Eventually, we actually happened to find a really, really pretty king snake. And honestly, that snake, I really debated putting on the list because I love king snakes. And when they have those thick white bands like that, I mean, I would probably consider it an honorable mention. But anyway, we had spent the entire weekend walking through the swamps. And if you've ever been to Northeastern North Carolina, it is an absolutely impenetrable, inhospitable place. It's not a pleasant experience when you get off the high ground. But we spent the entire weekend battling the swamps and it was Sunday. I had to be back at school on Monday. Dave had to be back for work. We were just about to leave, but I wanted to check this one more spot that I mapped that I had talked about for pretty much the whole weekend. So we decided, you know what? We're gonna go there and see if it's a good spot that's worth hitting next time with a little bit more effort. So we're walking down this trail and it happened. I came across this beautiful coastal plains milk snake from Northeastern North Carolina. In this area, it's a bit of a subject of debate whether they are a Scarlet King snake or an Eastern milk snake. And honestly, not a lot of DNA testing has been done in that area. So it's kind of ambiguous. Realistically, are they probably Scarlet King snakes? Yes, but it is bizarre how milk snake looking they are. And just the fact that there has not been a lot of research done on them makes it a kind of mysterious snake. So that's number two on the list and is definitely one of the rarest snakes I've ever seen. And a couple of years went into finding that snake. And I know it doesn't always look like it on the channel when I go out into the woods and just show you guys snakes on camera. All right, guys, number one on the list is going to go to a hognose snake. I love hognose snakes. And while there are rarer and cooler and more exotic things that I found this year, Eastern hognose snakes are some of the best snakes the United States has to offer, in my opinion. They're incredibly variable in color and appearance, and obviously their dramatic behavior is kind of unmatched by, off the top of my head, I would think any other snake in the United States. So since I found my first hognose snakes ever, it has been a personal quest of mine to find really, really colorful ones. And I'm always trying to top my most colorful one ever. One weekend, I decided to go to an area that I knew has colorful ones, where I'd found colorful ones in the past. And I think I spent one day hiking all day long, ended up finding two hognose snakes, one of which was absolutely stunning. It was a beautiful orange one but it's not the best hognose that I saw this year. It actually 
was a couple days later on the same trip, I was hiking habitat and it was hotter that day than I would have preferred to look for these snakes. So I woke up early and I started hiking fields. I was walking all around with my friend Zach and we weren't really finding anything. We maybe saw some racers or something like that that day. We decided to go back to the cars and we walk out of the woods and intersect this small paved road. And I actually just happened to turn to the left and way down a hill, maybe 50 yards away, I see this shape in the road. And it's so far away that all I can tell is that it's a shape, but I see it start to shimmy a little bit. And just based off of the movement, I knew it was a hog nose and I took off running. And as soon as I got maybe 20, 30 feet from it, I started to be able to see the color of the snake and started screaming. Oh <laughs> my God, it was crossing the road. It's even better than the last. Hold on. No way! <laughs> and I knew that it was the hognose that I had been searching for for years. This brilliant, like, red, orange, and black. Like, it was, it was perfect. It is the best hognose I've ever found. And honestly, probably one of my favorite snakes that I've ever found. To me, that is my number one snake of the year. And until I find maybe a better looking hognose, it is my number one snake ever. Like I said, there's probably a lot of honorable mentions and it was really hard to make this list. There are definitely really awesome snakes that didn't make the cut. So let me know in the comments if you guys would have arranged your list in a different order or if there are finds you remember from past videos of mine that didn't make the list that you think should have. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it's a little bit different than my conventional videos, but I'm gonna be able to bring you guys some warmer content soon. So you guys are just gonna have to look forward to that and see what's coming next. If you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one.